Hey makers this is Truveen and first of all wishing you all a very happy and prosperous new year This is 2024 and I come up with my first step by step tutorial series on Power Automate approval kit This kit has been launched last year Now let's try to explore what it offers The first question arises in our mind that approval action is already available in the power automate in the out of the box way then what does this kit additionally add as a feature set so we'll talk about those things in depth throughout this three part step by step series i have divided the overall series into three different part in the first part we will be talking about what is power automate approval kit and how it makes our life easier and how it is different than the out of the box approval action and what are the rich features that does it offer and who can use this particular kit you will get all of this answer into this first session In the second episode we will be talking about how we can get started with power automate approval kit we will talk about the installation steps in depth i will show step by step process for downloading the package installing that into the environment and how best you can configure all your flows and custom connectors In last and third episode we will be talking about some real life use cases. In real world use case we have the approval process held in many places. We will be taking the example of Contoso coffee machine and we will build end to end approval process in depth with this particular kit. If you are coming here for the very first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe press the bell notification and follow me on Twitter and Instagram it's free for you but it motivates me in lots other way so without further delay let's get started the first question arises in our mind that Truvin approval action is already available in the power automate then what is the need of this approval kit and who developed this approval kit and is it safe to use in our organization let me give you these answers this approval kit has been developed by microsoft's power cat team basically it accelerates the building of your approval faster than ever now just imagine for an organization where you want a multi stage approval process for that in power automate you need to you write your logic i mean you need to use different set of condition approval action and then you can build your end to end logic but what if if the person doesn't know anything about power automate and they want to configure couple of things and automate their business processes so approval kit is something which is a boon for a low code developer which makes their life easier by providing ready made kit built on the top of the power platform component that allows your organization to configure the sophisticated business approvals such as conditional branching delegation admin overrides out of the office and much more all of this thing you can do without the need of writing a single line of code which empowers every person in the organization to do more with less with your organization's approval need this approval kit come up with 20 plus cloud flows and one power app that is installed in any dataverse environment by using this approval kit you will be able to quickly set up the this type of requirement let's say if you in your organization if you have multi stage approval processes conditional approval delegation which means that if some person is not available any other person take a place and approve the request you can handle that in an out of the box way you can also handle out of the office like let's say if i'm in out of the office this approval can be sent to the different person the delegated people uh you can maintain the organization calendar work day base time out and reassignment as well so sometimes there is a need like you want to reassign to some other people if some approval doesn't respond up to certain business day or certain working days you can uh handle all of those scenarios in out of the box way just imagine with out of the box uh, approval action if you want to handle that how much of custom logic you need to build for your organization but this is what it offers now let's talk about the basic differences between the approval connector which is out of the box connector and this approval kit what is the key difference in between that 
first use of its core use case so basically approval action when you are using in the power automate it come up with simple feature it doesn't come up with advanced feature like delegate out of the office and uh, you know uh, business logic or organization features it doesn't come up with that while in case of approval kit it come up with workflow designer with all of this extra feature okay this is come up with out of the box when power automate is available for your organization for this you require a specific installation process for approval action it trigger via power automate this is also trigger via power automate you need azure application registration in case of approval kit while in out of the box case you don't require any type of azure app registration this is not a premium connector so you don't require any dedicated premium license for power automate while this is totally a license base which means that your organization need power automate premium license along with that all the user who are using that workflow designer they require power apps license as well we will talk about licensing in a while but yeah this approval kit you must require a license while in approval action you don't require a license so this is another uh, point where you can make a decision whether you want to go with this kit or not okay uh, approval action doesn't require dataverse this will require a dataverse power app license with approval action it doesn't require while in case of yes it required to manage the approval then some extra feature we are talking about multi-stage approval multi-stage approval is not by default in the approval action but obviously you can build a logic if you are a developer but in case of approval kit it is available with the feature toolkit itself delegated approval it's not by default but it require custom implementation same way with approval kit it's available out of the box design and authoring co-pilot and power automate designer natively support with this particular power automate approval action here it will not support because it require power app process designer for that versioning uh, out of the box cloud flow versions are supported uh, right now in power automate we don't have versioning capability so we don't have any versioning over there while in case of approval kit it uses the dataverse based workflow stages and data versions uh, workday or holiday logic it's not available by default in the approval action while in case of approval kit all of these features that are available as a part of out of the box so this is the key difference between the approval action and approval kit that help you to make a decision to go with this kit or not main point is here is the licensing and some sort of extra feature set now let's talk about the licensing requirement before you install this kit so basically you need power platform admin center right along with that you require power apps per app or per user licenses whoever want to use this approval workflow designer app second thing is you require power automate process license as well along with that you require a dataverse capacity as well i will share the link in the description box with the detailed licensing requirement but these are the three major thing you require before you get started with power automate approval kit let me head over to the browser window and let me show you the overall app that you will get with this approval kit. In this approval kit, the first part is approval center. So this approval center come up with this different option where this is the home page where you can configure your flow, you can link your workflow and you can configure some sort of basic settings. Uh, then there is an approval override section where uh, you want to override any of your approval that options are available over here workflow which means that whichever workflow you have created it will be appearing under this particular section uh, node instances what is node what is workflow you will get to know all of these things in the third episode so just wait for that uh, you will get the different kind of approval instances as well like uh, you can you can track your entire end-to-end -end approval process that what's our uh, uh, instance number and uh, in which stage your approval is at this moment and who has approved versus uh, if the state of the instant is running or completed you will get to know all of this stuff over here also there is one more section available here called approval designer where you can design your end-to-end -end approval so it is providing you this kind of low code kind of interface of process designer so the process designer is looking like this 
so here you can design your different processes so let's say for an example the first stage is self approval second stage is manual approval there are some sort of conditions so you can implement all of those stuff over here using this process designer all right so it uses different type of processes stage nodes conditions approvals everything over here and the last stage is setup so over here you can set up your employees work profile you can set up their public holiday their holiday calendar depending on that it set up the different stuff also the good thing about this approval kit here is uh, this is the central place where all your approval are placed and also you can set up some basic information like let's say for an example if you are out of the office uh, it should uh, set up some delegate so here there is a functionality to set up the delegate for each profile so let's say if i'm i'm the person uh, if i'm not available who is the person who will act as the approval delegate even if that delegate is not available who is the backup delegate all of this information will be available over here in order to support that so that's the overall idea about this approval kit now in the next episode we will be talking about how we can install this business approval kit from the scratch so stay tuned till next episode hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and don't forget to follow me on all my social media handles all the links are available in the description box